And there you can see our very nicely formed arched configurations. Hello and welcome. In this episode, we're going to be looking at how to create a series of arch windows using our infinite openings tool for ARCHICAD. Here you can see four various arch types, from a standard arrangement, to a situation where the opening panels are arched as well, to a more gothic style arch, to a more Arabian style arch. When working with the tool in regards to the shape, it is much easier to do so through the elevation view. And we'll get started over here with our sample window. The first thing to do is to go into the settings and go to the shape and size. Here we need to set the window shape to polygon. And now we have a series of nodes to help us in adjusting the shape of this window. Along each edge of the polygon, we have two nodes. The first, a quarter away long, will add a new node. And the second will curve that edge. So that's what we want to do right now. So let's select this node and define the height of our arch. I'm going to set this at 500 mil. And there we have a simple arch. However, if we have a look at that in 3D, you'll notice that there is no glass through that arch element. So what we next must do is go back into the settings and ensure that the overall height of the element encompasses the arch as well. So we'll add 500 to that. And now you can see that the window or door panels also stretch up into that element. Now the first example we want to achieve is the more typical arrangement where the arch is fixed glass. In order to do that, we need to adjust the panel configuration. So we go back into the element, let's get back to our main page, and we'll go to panel arrangement. This looks like it's locked to a component, so let's unlock that component. And now we need to add a second row. Turn on the transom, go back to our shape page, and make sure that we have our hotspots set to Mines and transoms. This way we can adjust the positioning of that transom element. Click OK. You'll notice we've got the glazing 3D text in here, so I'll just go turn that off quickly. Under Quick List and uncheck the elevation text. Now you'll notice there's a hotspot on the left hand side here. This hotspot will allow us to adjust the positioning of this transom. So we want to select that and move that element up to in line with that node up here. However, if we do so, that will center the transom on that node. So depending on how you want your arrangement to work, whether you want the transom to be below that node or above that node, you need to make that adjustment. This is a 40 mil frame, so I need to add 20 mil for the configuration that I want. So 14. 95 and now we have that typical configuration okay let's move on to the next arrangement back to our elevation view so in our second arrangement we have the panels following the arch now as you can see here these curved elements are actually truncated we can adjust the resolution of this element so that we get a much nicer representation depending on how much detail you want to see. We do that in the model view options. So I'll go into model view options, 3D resolution, and I'll bump that up to 36. That should be enough to give us a relatively nice resolution. This 2D resolution should not be at 360. Let's just adjust that. And now you can see we have a much cleaner resolution. Okay, let's set this element up. So, to achieve this, we want to go back into our panel arrangement. We want to set that back down to one row. Click OK, and you can see the panels now stretch up into that element to the full height. What we now want to do is we want to adjust the shape of these elements. We can go to our opening panel, and we can click on polygon panel, and then we can set the shape using the typical nodes. In order to get those nodes, we need to go back into our shape page where we can define our guide hotspots and select profile guides. Okay, so now you can see the typical 
hotspots, the one quarter length hotspot and the halfway hotspot. And these perform the same role as they did in the overall shape. So let's first drag this node down and put it into that corner. Then we simply need to grab the curve hotspot and curve that out to the edge. And that takes care of both our panels. For the third arrangement, it's simply a separation of the two sections of the arch. Let me show you how that's done. If we select this element, remove that arch, add another node, bring that node into the middle, move that node up to our previous arch point, which is at 2000. And then we can arch these segments out individually. I might just make that 100 and the same on this side. We then go to our panel and we will reduce its arch back down to suit this new arrangement. Once again, if you want to fine tune this resolution, at a 1 to 100 view when you're further out, you won't notice it so much. But if you're doing something closer, then you might want to actually come in, go to the model view options and bump up this resolution a little higher. And perhaps then you may also want to fine tune the position of this element. And there we have a very accurate result for a gothic type arch. The final style can be performed in the same way, we just need to add in a couple more nodes. So we'll come back to our original element, we will eliminate these arches, so I'll bring this up another 300 mil. Split the sides again into two separate segments using the add node function and then curve out the first edge and curve in the second edge. Same here. Now we need to adjust our door elements as well. So we will remove the arch initially, stretch this node up into the apex of this point, add another node, halfway along, move that node up to the edge of this frame, and then curve out the segments, and curve in the segments. And there we have our Arabian style panels. Now we can have a look at these in 3D. Open up the elements. So we'll go into our operable elements page and we'll set the 3D opening angle to 45 degrees. And there you can see our very nicely formed arched configurations. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you look forward to playing around with some variations of these styles to enhance the design and accuracy of your model. And before I go, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that every time we release a new video like this, you'll be well informed. Thank you.